Okay, my last video I had these grandeur ideas how this was going to work and it it doesn't work. The uh, problem is the fore and aft. It, uh, like let's say you put this here to keep it moving away by repelling it. What happens is it kind of scoots the rotor to the side. It's not like a flat ball of flux against a flat one. It's like two round ones. And uh, as you push harder, as you push harder, it wants to go laterally away with pretty good, great force when you get it really close, even if it's centered. And I had that little magnet in the middle of the hole that I hoped would uh, stop that, but it doesn't. And so when you have these around, you know, now these work, but when you push it hard with these end magnets, it uh, pushes it to the side too much. Doesn't keep it centered. And so that overwhelms the force that these have and that just smashes it against it against the magnets it smashes this this magnet against these it's not doesn't keep it centered maybe if i like tripled the strength here but still there's this problem of this not really doing what i want it to see how it does it shows it so, and then J, M, and D had a good, great idea. You bring a, put a nut in here and a threaded rod and a magnet on the end and you could adjust exactly how far away it is. But you know what? I don't think that's going to work either because of this lateral movement. That's the problem. See, look, I'm like a good distance away and it shoves it to the side so much. So, my new idea is 45 degrees. These things, not like this at 90 degrees to the uh, magnet at the end of the shaft, but 45 degrees so you kind of make a cup of flux that this will fit into. And I think this is going to work because when I do a little test and I hold a magnet, magnet at 45 degrees, it prevents it from going sideways and it prevents it from going this way. So I think this is going to be a good idea. And I'm about ready to go. I made a little jig at 45, so when I do a drill, I can guide it right in there at 45. And uh, this is the bottom plate, so it's going to be like this. And so that's the newest thing. It's possible I will put these in there too. And I don't think I'll need these, but it's possible. So I'm still trudging along, trying to get this to levitate magnetic bearings and I have a little bit of confidence this is gonna work I've got it all set up ready to go here's the magnet size I'm gonna I'm gonna use round magnets because I'm gonna drill them drill holes and they're gonna go in there like this here's that 45 
and then uh, maybe I'll need to push it a little more this way I'll pull it back this way so that's the new new idea I'm gonna try okay Thanks for watching.